Welcome to Are You Hungry? Tian Tian. Today we have a special story, special trip about a hero ship. Oh yes, a hero ship during the World War II. And the ship name is Jeremiah O'Brien. The ship was born in 1944. And he became one of the most heroic ships during the World War II era. He participated in the D-Day, the day where the Normandy was the deciding factor. So let's talk about the Jeremiah the World War II process. And it served as a primary cargo vessel for U.S. and Allies. So in the next hour, we will be touring this hero ship. And this ship currently is located in San Francisco. Beautiful San Francisco. And it's right by the Fisherman Wharf. So if you come to San Francisco, this is a must see. If you have a choice between this one or to the Upper Needle Submarine which I have been to both, I will recommend you come to this one. Come to the SS Jeremiah O'Brien. It's a bigger ship. After all, it's a cargo ship. So there's, there's a lot to see. And it's a working ship. Which means, oh yes, the bathroom is also working. So in case you have to go to restroom, you can come to Jeremiah O'Brien. And it took me about, I would say, two and a half to three hours to tour this ship. I basically was so humbled by the history of this ship. And I was really, really touched. So I want to be patriotic. I'm pretty sure all of you listening want to be patriotic. And um, this is really amazing ship with amazing history. And I'm so humble. And today we we'll, will play in the background all the Navy top song from the YouTube library, which is um, free of copyright. So you can enjoy the sight and the sound, and I will take you through the Jeremiah O'Brien and let the story begins. And as you can see, the cannon is still working. It's mobile. You can, you know, try to um, throw it so the cannon will go up and down. And if you have another person that comes with it, they sit down the right and really control the direction. So I'm the sailor here. I brought, oh yes, Jeremiah O'Brien. I brought a hat, and it costs about $30 plus tax, $32, and it's really worth it. And I'm really, I'm very humble to be on this ship. And that, that began a brief history about this ship. 
and this happened to be the only two that's still operational. It's called the Liberty ship, and it made they made total about twenty seven hundred and ten of them, and this is one of the two that's still operational. And it was assembled in 56 days. Oh yes, during the critical mid-1943. The Great Britain stood alone against Nazi Germany. And Germany was using the horse of the U-boat to server the Great Britain's lifeline. So the U-boat began exacting a terrible toll on the British merchant fleet. Their ship was being destroyed faster than they could be placed. So this is the time that U.S. come to the rescue to begin mass production of the ship in a scale never seen before. Work around the clock in 18 shipyards across the U.S. And this is where the star, the hero ship, Jeremiah O'Brien was born in a shipyard in South Portland, Maine in mid-1943. Assembled 40 in 56 days. She's a veteran of both Atlantic and Pacific theaters of war. Her wartime explorer includes seven Voyager and four transatlantic crossings, one down to South America and two in Pacific. But her greatest assignment was supplying the beach of Normandy during the D-Day invasion. invasion. The O'Brien made 11 shuttle missions between June and September 1944, delivering supplies for the Allies to prosecute the war against Nazi Germany. At the completion of the war, the Afghan found herself in Australia, the final wartime assignment will see her transporting the most precious cargo. O'Brien transferred nine Australian war brides and three children to San Francisco to start their new life. While these young women were starting their new life, O'Brien faced Oh yeah, you can teacher. shoot that plane. Place into reserve fleet in 1946. She will sit quietly, wait for an assignment. In 1960, the plan was conceived to save Liberty Ship. O'Brien was selected in 1979. To sail again through the 1980s. She cruised around San Francisco Bay on a regular basis. Little did she know her greatest feat was yet to come. On June 6, 1994, the O'Brien was off the coast of France, Port du Hoc to commemorate the 50th anniversary of 
D Bay. The average age of the crew was 70 years old. I'm so touched and so inspired by the story. Let's continue. Today, the Orion still regularly cruise and serve as a museum dedicated to preserving and teaching the history of Liberty Ship and their contribution to World War II. So, in May 21, 2022, there was a Seaman Memorial Cruise. And coming up, October 8 and 9 in 2022, there will be San Francisco Fleet Week Cruise. And you can go to online and book your ticket. So let's enjoy the tour. Sit back, kick back, and relax. Enjoy this hero ship. SS Jeremiah O'Brien. And beautiful San Francisco, Fishman Wolf as the backdrop.